everybody. Welcome back to Conscientious Omnivore. My name is Pal. I'm pretty excited today to show you guys an update on some of the, well actually most of the tropical plants. It's been a long time since I've done an update. Um, I'll have to put on the screen uh, when each of these was grown. I'll have to check my uh, older videos because I really just don't know the, uh, the exact dates. But I grew pretty much everything you see here in the pots from seeds. Uh, with the exception of the red currant over here uh, because that is just from a cutting. Um, that's doing quite well as well, but uh, that's not an exotic plant. So I'm gonna focus on the citrus here and uh, the avocados here in the back as well. And then there's a lychee, my sole remaining lychee plant. Um, I had a bunch of these growing and uh, all of them have died since. I think I realized uh, much too late that uh, I was grossly underwatering them when they were inside in the winter and one of the winters uh, proved to be fatal for all but this guy and uh, this guy also lost a lot of its leaves and um, wasn't doing too well but it's uh, since recovered very very well and has uh, been putting out a lot of new growth here you can see um, here at the top as well so it's uh, it's looking pretty good now sorry for the barking um, might get uh, a little bit difficult to hear but uh, anyway date palms are doing pretty good you can see here um, they're doing nice i got my one little kumquat that has survived um, which is right here this one's doing pretty good there's a lot of new growth coming out um, it's coming back from the winter it wasn't looking too good there uh, again another date palm got my uh, pineapple here um, i probably should be planting that to a bigger pot um, I think most of these uh, plants would benefit greatly now by being moved into a bigger um, pot, but I just have not had the time uh, and the energy and everything. So uh, they're basically kind of in this like <laughs> um, never ending stasis of barely staying alive in the winter. And then they come out for the summer and then they do well. And then I put them back in the house again for the winter and they suffer some more. Got the uh, uh, flying dragon orange here. Uh, really should have planted that out forever and a day ago. It's still alive. I have a better one at our property. This is at my in-laws place right now. Um, that one's in a little bit better shape, uh, but uh, yeah, it's still hanging on there. Um, that has survived being outside in the winter. Um, another date palm, another date palm. I got a bunch of those. Those are doing pretty well. Uh, I think this is a um, mandarin. I have to check. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, same thing with this one. I think the first three mandarins I had were those two guys in the back and this guy here. And then this is a lemon tree that I've planted much later and has since really kind of grown quite a bit. And then uh, it wasn't doing that well. It just had like one big, um, really, really tall uh, part. I cut that and then, you know, I put out this other growth. But now um, it's really just kind of, you know, trying to put out more shoots this way. It doesn't seem to want to be branching. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that one. All the other stuff that I've uh, pruned back has been branching out quite nicely. So all of these guys are uh, quite, you know, bushy at this point. Um, a lot of new growth. This all grew up this summer since coming out. So uh, yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of new growth. The avocados are doing great. Um, those are probably some of the biggest plants that we have at this point. I used to have three actually, but we gifted away one of them because we've just been running out of space inside the house. I really, really, really want to build a wild peony at some point, which I keep talking about, but uh, just have not been able to do that at this point yet. But uh, yeah, the avocados are doing really well. This one's got quite a few, you know, big branches that you can see here. And there's new growth here and here on the side. And then this, this is all new growth here from the summer. This is a nice little branch here. This is growing here. This is all new growth. Lots of new growth at the top as well. So it's pretty cool. I'm happy about these guys. Um, this is the other uh, avocado as well. This one's looking really good. Uh, got some new growth on the side. This one was a really tall one as well, but it kind of started branching off by itself. So I haven't pruned this. I may prune this. Uh, back before the winter we'll see and the same thing here with the um mandarins here that we did these are the first uh, citrus that i ever grew from seed make sure you check out that video if you want to do this yourself the citrus is actually quite easy to grow 
um, I think it's a lot harder to treat them well enough that they actually flower and produce fruit. None of mine have flowered yet. I don't even think they're close, even though it's been um, by the book like enough years that they should probably already be fruiting. But I don't think I treat them well enough. So uh, unfortunately, I haven't seen any fruit yet. But they're beautiful plants anyway, and I really do like them. So um, I don't know, at some point I'll start hopefully being able to treat them better and put them in uh, the Wally Peeny and then get them a little bit um, better growing conditions. This one, it looks like I've got some uh, pest issues going on here on the leaves. Uh, might have to treat that with something or spray it or something, but usually I haven't done anything. Yeah, that looks like little, uh, maybe some kind of lice or something. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Definitely something on here. Anyway, I'll have to see what I can do about that. Lots of growth on this one too, but it seems to all be kind of curling up. Like it looks like something's attacking it. Interesting. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show it to you guys. And uh, I know a lot of people have been asking about the dragon fruit. It is still alive and um, it's looking pretty good. I will do a separate video on that. I really, really need to plant it out into a bigger um, pot and give it a chance to start growing up instead of sprawling uh, to the side. So uh, yeah, um, all of my mangoes died too. I should I should add that as well. That's kind of been proving to be a, a difficult thing to raise for, for us. And I have um, star fruit, um, two plants still alive. I keep those in the house. Although I've gotten some feedback that uh, maybe I should just prune it back and put it out as well. So I might do that while it's still nice and warm. Start getting it some nice rainwater from the summer. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you guys liked it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And uh, let me know if you're growing any um, exotic, uh, you know, trees, fruits, whatever. And also, if you have any tips for getting the citrus to fruit, uh, that would be great. I would imagine I probably need to be putting it in bigger containers. Maybe give it some uh, fertilizers. I haven't been fertilizing anything. I do add mulch to the top, and they have been repotted a couple times. So they get fresh soil at that uh, at those junctions. But um, yeah, I think uh, it probably needs a little bit more attention than I'm giving it. The lychee's doing great. I, I definitely want to put this in a bigger pot this year and uh, probably be, you know, putting in a few things at the end of the summer, going into fall, putting a, a few things into bigger pots. I might need to get rid of some things too because we are really are running out of space inside the house when I bring these in. Uh, as they get bigger and as the pots get bigger, they just take up more and more space. That's why I got rid of one of the avocados. Um, I gave it to a friend, so that's pretty cool. So anyway, guys, uh, that's the video. Uh, see you in another one soon. Bye.